Welcome to Healthy Bites with Dr. Lucia Aronica, where top experts answer your burning questions in nutrition, epigenetics, and healthy aging. Should you juice your broccoli as a convenient, effective way to incorporate them into your diet and unlock their health benefits? Find out the answer in this expert interview with Dr. Jed Fahey. Subscribe now and let's nibble our way to a healthier, happier life. When I grew up, juicing or smoothies weren't a food group. Now I think they are um, because everybody seems to be doing it. But um, when you juice broccoli, you, um, you do that, that enzymatic conversion that I showed you. So you, you release myrosinase because you're wounding all the cells. I mean, you're doing a really good job of wounding the cells and you're creating sulforaphane. And, <clears throat> excuse me, um, so that absolutely releases it and that's fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with doing that. But the, what are the downsides? In my mind, you know, I, I juiced a long time ago when the first juicers really got popular, but you don't get any of the fiber. You get the soluble fiber, but you don't get the insoluble fiber. So um, for that reason, if I'm going to use a machine, I'd rather use a blender. If that's what it'll take to get you to eat more broccoli, juice, juice it, please. I mean, so it's not, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. No, yeah. And I, I think, I think, however, that the few toxic like doses of, uh, of broccoli were reported with juices, but it was an amount, like I can't, I can't recall, but I know there, there have been a couple of papers showing that there was uh, some people were intoxicated just by doing lots of broccoli uh, uh, juicing. Um, I, I don't well, know what. Well, I mean, that, that, uh, sorry to interrupt, but yeah, that's the danger with, you know, the danger of overdoing it with, I would say, juicing and drinking a lot of it or, or with seeds um, is that you could, you, you could probably get too much of a good thing. Um, yeah. You know, the dose makes the poison, right? That's so true. That, that is so true. And in general, juicing uh, increases the bioavailability of everything. And even for something like, for example, oranges, I don't think, for example, orange juice is necessarily, I mean, uh, a go-to for most, for, for, for people who have, uh, for example, some problems with glucose regulation, because just in one glass, you can concentrate four oranges, uh, which would take you like much longer time to eat and, uh, and drink. So the impact of, your, on, of, of the glucose on your blood sugar, you just you are going to modify uh, the, 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 the way food impact your, your biochemistry by juicing, right? And sometimes it's good, sometimes uh, not so good. Hey, would you like to know how food can be medicine for your genes? Get access to my free webinar using the link in the video description. You will find out how your genes can learn from your lifestyle choices and how you can teach them to unlock their full potential. I hope you enjoy the webinar and if you do, please make sure to comment and share.